you will automatically get revived if you jump from a floating temple while you're knocked. So here's my teammate who will knock me. Now let's try to crawl and jump off the floating temple. As you can see, our player gets automatically revived and also lands safe on the ground. Hence, the myth is confirmed. You cannot jump on the broken stones flying around the ancient temple. Let's check this. Here are the broken stones which are flying around the ancient temple. Now let's try jumping over them. As you can see, we cannot jump over them and it results with us falling down. Hence, the myth is confirmed. If you peek and throw a nade from a wooden shack, it would go outside through the wood. Let's go to a wooden shack. Now we'll peek and pull a nade. As you can see, the nade clearly goes outside. This may be possible because of the tiny gaps in between the wood. Hence, the myth is confirmed. While taking TPP, stay close to the wall and press the peak button. You'll get an extra wide view without exposing yourself. Let's check it. We'll stay close to this wall. Now let's click on the peak button. As you can see, we're really getting an extra wide view. Hence, the myth is confirmed. If you're on the temple reviving your knocked teammate who is below the temple, your teammate will fly with you as soon as the temple starts to fly. Let me explain it first. Here's a knocked teammate. Now as you know, the temple rises towards the top, so we'll try to revive our teammate who is outside the temple. As you can see, the revive gets cancelled and we fly away. Also, to my surprise, my teammate automatically got revived. Hence, the myth is busted. When the floating temple disappears, the crates of the enemies will start to float in the air. So here's our enemy. Let's finish him. Now we'll wait until the floating temple disappears. As you can see, the loot crate of the enemy also disappears along with the temple. Hence, the myth is busted. If you're taking a fight from the top, switch to FPP for a better view of the enemies below you. So here's an enemy standing just below me. Let's explore both the cases. Firstly, we'll check TPP. As you can see, our player blocks the vision and we're not clearly able to see the enemy below us. Now let's change to FPP and check the same thing. As you can see, we're clearly able to see the enemy and can take an easy knock. Hence, the myth is confirmed. While playing the library mode, you can check the upcoming weapons by tapping on the score tab. Let's check it out. Here's the score tab. Let's click on it and see. Yes, we can clearly see all the next upcoming weapons. Hence, the myth is confirmed. Only players having the Pharaoh X suit can sit on the golden chair. Others can only stand next to it. First, let me tell you where you can find these golden chairs. They can be found at Milta, Pochinki, School, Georgia Pole, and the military base. Now let's check the first myth. It's said that only players with the X suit can sit over these chairs. So here's my character with a normal outfit. As you can see, we can only stand next to the chair and are unable to sit on it. Now let's try the same with the Pharaoh X suit. As you can see, we're clearly able to sit on this royal chair. Hence, the myth is confirmed. Also, you cannot damage the player sitting in the chair by punching him. Let's ask the enemy to punch me. As you can see, we didn't lose any health. Hence, the myth is confirmed. Also, here's a good tip. You get some extra TPP angle while using this golden chair. Here's a comparison between normal TPP versus the golden chair TPP. Here's a bonus myth. 
you get awesome content if you subscribe to Clash Universe. Hit this subscribe button if you believe the myth is confirmed.